Hello guys, welcome back to another video on Stable Diffusion. In the past few days, I created a Discord bot that uses Stable Diffusion to generate images. This started with a friend wanting to try Stable Diffusion, but he doesn't know programming and doesn't have a GPU. So I thought that I could let him use my computer to run Stable Diffusion through a Discord bot. And that's why we have this bot today. I also decided to make this Discord server public because I know many people want to try the Stable Diffusion software, but have difficulty to install it successfully. I just feel like Stable Diffusion is such an amazing piece of software, and I want to make it more accessible for everyone. You're welcome to come to the server and check out what Stable Diffusion is capable of without having to go through all the trouble installing the software. All you need is the Discord app, and you can find the link to the Discord server in the description below. This server will be free to use with no limit on how many images you can generate. The Discord bot itself is pretty easy to use and we'll get to it. But first, I want to talk about the bot design. I had basically two options for hosting the bot. The first one is using an online hosting service that also offers GPU. This is the ideal solution because of the more consistent bot uptime and the fast GPU. However, all the hosting services are very expensive, ranging from a couple hundreds to a couple thousand US dollars per month. And my next option is to use my own computer at home. I have a spare Nvidia 1070 that I use to mine Ethereum, which I stopped mining due to the merge. Since I already have all the parts, the CPU, GPU, RAM, and the motherboard. The only cost to me is the electricity for keeping the computer powered down 24 seven. The electricity is probably going to cost a couple dollars per month, but I'm okay with that and happy to offer this bot to whoever wants to try stable diffusion. Oh, and also the internet. I already have an unlimited internet plan, so I also consider internet is free for this bot. Now, the only downside is that this computer won't be able to crank out images super fast like some of the servers out there. And here's the hardware for this computer. It's got a 3.9 gigahertz of CPU. Well, CPU is not that important anyways, so let's move on. It has 8 gigabytes of memory and NVIDIA GTX 1070, which has about 8 gigabytes of video RAM. It's got a 120 gigabyte solid state drive. There's only 5 GB left on the hard drive, but it should be good for a while. On average, this bot can produce a default size picture around 30 to 35 seconds. And the default is 512 by 512. In size. You might be wondering why this already seems fast. For this bot, I'm just using the official stable diffusion version with a tweak to half the model. So this is not the optimized version and that's one of the reasons that it's fast. And the other reason it seems fast is because in most of the other versions of stable diffusion that you have tried or each run you do, the program actually has to first load the stable diffusion model weight and then starts generating the images. For this bot, I wrote some customized code such that the stable diffusion model is preloaded into the computer memory and stays there for as long as the bot is active. But whenever the bot receives a prompt, it will start generating images right away without needing to reload the model weights each time. This stable diffusion Discord bot also adopts a first come, first serve principle. Prompts will be stored inside the queue based on the time the bot receives prompts, and the computer will have to run them one by one. Unfortunately, I only have one spare GPU, so it can only process one prompt at a time. And this means that if there are 10 requests ahead of you, then you have to wait about five minutes and that's 10 times 30 seconds before you can receive your image. But you don't have to wait to join the queue. You can queue in your prompt at any time. And when your image is ready, the bot will add you with the image so that you won't miss the message in the channel. One thing I want to mention is about fair usage. Please avoid submitting hundreds of prompts within a short period of time because that would pretty much block everyone else from using it for hours. Another thing is that I also removed the not safe for work filter from the code. So the program doesn't just give a black image or the Ricky picture for a totally innocent prompt. I hope to keep the freedom there. So please do not intentionally submit prompts involving blood, gore, and nudity content. This also help me keep the Discord server a safe place for everyone. So the bot is pretty easy to use. So far, I've only built two Discord commands. To activate the command, simply type the dot on your keyboard and then followed by the command. The first command is dot make image and you can do it like this. Inside the garden channel, type dot make image space quotes 
and then place your prompt inside these two codes. The bot will save your request into a queue and respond with the prompt. Depending on when you join the Discord server, I might disable these messages later on because they don't add much value. If there's no one ahead of you, then you just have to wait about 30 to 40 seconds and then your image will be ready and sent back to you automatically. The second command is dot status. Similarly, inside the garden channel, just type dot status and the bot will respond with your current place in queue and also an estimated wait time for your image. If you have queued multiple prompts, this will only show you the position of your first prompt. So there you go. Hop into the Discord server and try it. Again, you can find the link in the description below. This bot has been fun to develop and I plan to add features such as enhancement on the face and higher image resolutions. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment down below. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.